Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, and all the static in the back, you know what it is. You good? Okay, yep. Yeah. This week on the moon with Louis, we got OG pre work Carl, straight from Virginia. Make sure y'all yes, tap in. Let, let him know something. Say what's up to him real quick. Man, y'all already know what's going on. Follow me, OG Pretty Book Car, everywhere. Go stream by Felicia. Yeah, man. Shout out all my niggas. We in this bitch. You Cali did. with it. <laughs> you did. First interview in Cali. Not going to be the last one. Fact. How'd you come up with your name? Um, shit. My name really, that's, shit. it's like, kind of, it's hard to explain where the name came from because it was came from like, kind of like a family name and then it was like what was your family name not like the pretty boy part was came from like family they oh okay. that came from them and then the og part just came from me basically i gave myself that shit i was doing shit you know so that's how that came about when we see you on the street what you want us to call you you can call me Carl if I don't give a fuck. You can call me Carl, you can call me OG, pretty boy, any any of those, any of those three. Just don't call me no pun. <laughs> you did. No bitch. <laughs> you did. What made you uh, want to start rapping? For real, I always just loved music and shit. Like when I was young, I was dancing and shit, and I just liked music because, <clears throat> like, I really just. I don't know, it's just some always been there. I was like, damn, I fuck with this shit. And then I was just making songs at a young age and shit, but I ain't never had no studio. So I just had hella songs. And then I got older, I started getting connections instead of finding studios. And fucking became the proper. Did anybody, like, did you look up to anybody or do you look up to anybody while making music, like when you writing it down? Um, yeah, I mean, I got people in the rap uh, game I look up to. Well, I used to and shit, so. But like I don't when I'm writing my shit, I just like to do me. Like I don't like to be. My main thing is trying not to sound like somebody else. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to do my own shit. Something I hear a lot is I hear like I talk to my friend. He also rap. So I'm like, do you listen to other people's music like before you start writing? And he's like, no, I I listen to my own music because I don't want my sound to sound like them. Exactly. And I don't want people coming up to me like, hey, you stole a Gucci Mane verse. Or like, exactly. you know what I mean? You stole like a walk of or a past Troy or something. You know what I mean? Exactly. But don't get me wrong, though. Like, I, fuck, I, do, I do listen to other niggas, though. But <clears throat> most of the part when I'm writing my shit, like, I catch myself. Like, if I'm talking, like, nah, this sound like another nigga. I got oh, okay. I got to take this out or, you know, some other shit. I need to rewrite this verse real quick. <laughs> yeah. uh, what is Splash Game? Uh, that shit, it's just like, my boy actually made that shit up, Big Boss made that shit up, in like a long time ago. Like, fucking, a long time ago, and then <laughs> we just, he just like said it, and then we was just that, we was like, man, yeah, we fucking with this bad thing shit, and then that shit just became like a family type thing. That's tough. Yeah. So how many of y'all is there in uh, Splash Game? See, this, it's a couple niggas in it, but... Everybody don't rap though, you know, so oh, okay. you, you know what I'm saying? The only people everybody would know would be probably just me and Big Boss and maybe Foe, but everybody don't rap in Splash Gang. So Splash Gang is more of like a click y'all started out there? Yeah, it's just like a, uh, like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas do stuff behind the scenes too, you know? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> or when we pop out at a show or something, everybody would be there. That's turn. And y'all turn up different over there. I know, like. Oh, yeah, facts. The, the clubs over here, they be, I be seeing them, they be cool, like, you know what I mean, a good amount, but over there, they be like, okay, y'all cut off, ain't nobody coming in after. Yeah, they had to, they be, they be having to do shit like that sometimes at the club, you know, we, we had a couple. Yeah, y'all shut it down? A couple good shows, like, for real, I might, for real, I might have one on my Instagram highlights, for real, like, the best is one. I think I bust my lip with that shit. But How'd you do that? Just, the shit was so packed, and, like, we weren't even on the stage, we was just. Everybody was just in the crowd performing and I was just holding my shit up like that because trying to keep space and I was jumping up and down and shit. <laughs> microphone bust my lip and all kind of crazy shit. Sound like a good time. Uh, I understand I understand your popularity started around the same time your brother passed, right? Yeah, kind of, yeah. So how did you deal with your new success and your brother passing? My condolences, by the way. Yeah, really, that shit was different, though. It was like... When he when he passed and shit, when he got killed, I was fucking getting booked more and shit. But it was for like just to 
just come talk and shit too, you know what I'm saying? Like I got a, a lot more shows off of that shit too, but <clears throat> a lot of shit was for other stuff or whatever, but like I just met a whole lot of different people. Like I was in the newspaper and shit out here, you know what I'm saying? When yeah. he got killed and fucking they was talking about that shit in New York. I got gigs in New York and fucking all type of places off of that. If you don't mind, RP asking, beans too. Uh, what happened? Shit, he was killed by the police and shit. So that's why, like I was saying, that's why uh, it's like you know what I'm saying. It picked up more, you know, right. unless if he would have just got killed by a random nigga on the street. So he was killed by twelve. So that shit was. And uh, not to keep talking about it, but it's crazy because the y'all rioted out there, right? Like there was a not because of that, but prior. I mean, it was it was uh. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of shit that happened because of that. Like, people did crazy shit. Like, it was a lot of protests and fucking all over Virginia. Fucking different states. In New York, fucking New York. I went out to New York. They was going crazy about that shit. But, like, nothing, like, the case, that shit is, like, just an open case. You know what I'm saying? Still? Yeah. Still open case. Uh, what made you move from Cali to Virginia? Um... Uh, that's a hard question too like I don't know like Virginia is different too like fucking where I was living at in Virginia that shit was so small so you just will want to move it's like if you look the shit up we like the number one place with opioid opioid disease in the whole country so that shit Niggas out there being zombied out, you know what I'm saying? And it's small. Everybody know you. Know everybody know you rapping and shit. So you just gotta fucking maneuver your way out there, bitch. It's crazy because I wrote a paper about the opioid epidemic out there. Yeah, that's and it's, it's like crazy. I don't think people take the serious of it like mm -hmm. as serious as it should because it's something that's huge and that's really going on and that's coming from our government. You know what I mean? Yeah, and like. A, a fucking a doctor just got fucking arrested for fucking in our hometown yeah. for fucking like distributing the over eight hundred different you know what I'm saying just regular motherfucker giving out pills like it's candy but shit I mean they pray for our downfall so we gotta do better facts I ain't indulging in that shit okay. what's the first thing you did when you came out here got some weed <laughs> it hit different out that here shit, just <laughs> fucking that shit. Like, I don't never want to go back to smoking <laughs> East Coast weed, you never do that. But it's some good shit on the East Coast, too, but... It comes from like, Cali, right? Like, this shit is different. This shit is this shit. I heard everything, like, that's popping out there, like, all that weed, it just get packed but, from out here. But or all the good shit that we got out there... Yeah. Maybe might be from out here. Niggas <laughs> okay, be lying. Okay, okay. They might be like, yeah, I got this shit from Cali. This shit ain't from the fucking Cali. That shit, <laughs> that shit from fucking That's a red D. Yeah, I don't that shit from. Stop playing. <laughs> I don't know where they got that shit, bro. They be growing grass and talk, talking that talk. That fucking hard shit. That fucking brick ass weed. <laughs> Those bricks be clutch when you ain't got that. <laughs> <laughs> you were in the military uh, for a minute, right? Uh, Yeah, for a little while. You know what I'm saying? What happened with that? Because I heard uh, you went AWOL or something like that. That's a crazy... Like, that's a crazy... Uh, Topic two, I ain't gonna go to uh -huh. into that shit. But basically, some shit happened. Like I was already getting into a whole lot of trouble in the army and shit. And I already felt like from day one that shit wasn't for me. But I just was going through trying to get through my contract and shit. But I stayed in shit, so I was just like, damn. And then one day, I, I had just graduated airsoft school, so they gave me like a little break, like a four day weekend or some shit. Mm -hmm. So. I was like, fuck it, I'm going to go home. And I'm, I was in, not in Virginia, you know what I'm saying? I was mm -hmm. stationed somewhere else. So I wasn't supposed to go all the way back to Virginia. But I'm thinking, I'm like, I'm about to be back in fucking, you know what I'm saying? I'll be back in four days. Mm -hmm. It took me like 10 hours to get there. Some shit ended up happening in Virginia, and I ended up overstaying my welcome, basically. And then, shit, that was about it. I was fucking... On the run for probably like two months and got caught, went to jail, got out, went back to the army because you know they had to come pick me up from the fucking jail and shit. Flew me back to Kentucky and then it took me like a couple more months to process out of the army.
because I got kicked out for that. So, in all, I was probably in that bitch like two years or a little over two years, some shit. Dang. And like, I was in, like, I enlisted in that bitch when I was 17, so mm-hmm. to let you know how young and stupid I was when I was, you know what I'm saying? You had to get your parents' signature and all that? Nah. Like, because I ain't leave until I was 18, oh. but I was like enlisted when I was 17. I ain't leave until like January 29th of like, uh, I forgot what year it was, but yeah. Something I like uh, on a separate note that you do is you remix nursery rhymes. You know what I mean? Like yeah, just simple like things that people don't think of and then you take off and you run with it. That's like, my shit though. Like I ain't even just like <clears throat> that song, that one song Smoking Dope I had did was just like a fucking idea of stupid. You know what I'm saying? Smoking weed and I was like, damn, making some stupid shit. I found that beat and fucking I was eating that shit. I was like, yeah. I might have <laughs> seen that video too. That's tough. I like so that. On the way. You ever had beef with anybody like rapping? Um, nah, no real beef. Like niggas made songs and shit, but like not no real beef and shit. Nah, no like pull up then. <laughs> nah, no no real shit. No real fucking. None that rap. took past rap. Yeah, none that went past rap beef. Uh, do you plan on signing a deal when you get on? Packing a mail? Nah, uh. <laughs> shit, that shit, I need a, I need a meal. I need an M. I need two, matter of fact. Because that first one, I gotta go and say it was again, that other meal. So I need two meals to all, any label who gonna be watching this shit. I need two. And give me a six month heads up first so I can move to Texas and not have any taxes, you feel me? <laughs> oh, give me a damn, uh. Shit, I get two mil, I'm moving out of Cali because this shit high as a bitch. Expensive? Because the same, but I ain't, like, I don't know. Give me three mil. <laughs> <laughs> give me three, so all my living expenses. Yeah. Honestly, give me a hundred K a year and I'll work for it. <laughs> you work hard as hell. Uh, have you ever got into it with a fan? You know what I mean? I know those crowds be packed up and all that like you was talking earlier. Into it with a fan? Like, not in person, but... Like through social media, you know, fans will say anything. But like acting reckless. On in person, I don't think I never got into it with no fan. No. Nah. I never got real. <laughs> nah, I never got into it with a fan before. Uh, can we see new collabs anytime soon? Yeah, a couple new, like <clears throat> some niggas from back home and shit. Mm-hmm. But mainly, we working on splash game shit. Like all new splash game shit, we got. Fucking, we about to drop this Fiji Boy video. Okay. We about, I'm about to do the Smoking Dope video. Yeah, dude. And two, I know that's coming ASAP. Okay. But we working on all new shit, man. All new shit. Can we expect an EP or a mixtape anytime soon? Oh yeah, facts. Splash Brothers EP coming soon, but we like we just got our fucking shit like signed off on all our music, so now we selling all our shit. So we getting yeah. all our fucking, you know what I'm saying? We just got our right so boom period we get money <laughs> off everything we do so now it's going to take like you know what i'm saying we trying to be perfectionist with this shit everything right. trying to fucking can we see merchandise oh yeah for sure definitely within the next couple months we'll have that shit on the streets we'll have flies y'all gonna see it down shit we might have one up in this bitch you did. <laughs> <laughs> yo but and like i be telling everybody you do headbands visors all that i'm with it you feel me Just let me know fast. I'm doing the t-shirts, the visors, the head, the headbands are actually a good idea because, yeah, that's a good idea. You feel me? I, I love headbands because it's different, you know what I mean? And style and fashion always going to come back. Um, so you said Splash Brothers, right? Splash Brothers, yeah, that shit coming. Splash you listen to Starlito? Uh, I heard of Starlito, but hold on. Starlito, pull that whole be, thing Yeah, I know, I know who Starlito is because <laughs> we rapping with, what's his name? Oh, the other dude. Like Don Trip, I think. Yeah, yeah, Don yeah. Trip, yeah. But I'll be listening, bro. Tough. He um he from out there. He, but from Memphis though. But he uh he had dropped something Step Brothers. Like <laughs> like Step Brothers like the movie. And then I was gonna say is there any correlation like that with it? Splash Bros and Step Bros. Uh no, nah, not not with them but kinda with 
uh, the Splash Games, I told you my boy made that shit up, and right. then we just became Splash Brothers. But then with one of our first shits, we was kind of incorporating some Clay Thompson, Steph Curry shit with that. But That's tough. You know, just regular shit though. Can we see y'all go uh, like on the track together as Splash Gang and just leave it at that, or can we? Are y'all gonna keep it like separate? Say that again, bro. I, I was on some shit. You know? <laughs> like you know, you know Earth Gang, right? Earth Gang, yeah. Yeah, so it's two people, but do you do you guys see you guys doing something like that, like but Splash Gang? See, like the way we, you know, the way we do our shit is just like we Splash Gang, but. We ain't necessarily a group, you know what I'm saying? So I come out this bitch, I make me a song like the smoking dope shit. That's just me, you know what I'm yeah. saying? He got music, just him. But together we always spice game, you know. We fucking promote each other's music. Everybody promote our music and shit. Everybody in the game promote our music. We fucking do songs with whoever. Promote that shit the same way. Like my, he drop a song today, I will be posting that shit like it was mine. Fact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that love though. Yeah. Um, if you could tell the people one thing about yourself that they don't already know, what would you tell them? One thing about me that they don't know, uh, what's a good fun fact? Um, one thing about me that people don't know is, I can say a couple things actually, but the main one is that I'm adopted. Okay. So that's the main one. And a lot of people don't know that because when I was a kid, I didn't like make that shit publicize that yeah. shit because I was like, man, I ain't really, really going into that shit like that. So, you know, that's like one of the main things I could think about on the spot. I feel that. Yeah. that. But family is who you love, not who you around. And that's yeah. been a moment with Louie. Make sure y'all tap in, tune in. Uh, let me know your app one more time. At OG Pretty Boy Call, and that's anything you look up. Google, fucking Snapchat, fucking Instagram, Twitter, fucking Amazon Music, Pornhub, any. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> you did. But, you feel me? <laughs> if you yeah, want to tap in that or to tap it. But yeah. <laughs> that's been a moment with Louie. I appreciate y'all for tapping in. And make sure you tap in with Bro Music. New music coming soon. Splash Gang, bitch. You ain't my bitch, then we is not fucking. Like Triple H to that little bitch sucking. I make the pack. Flip, stuck it, drippy, drippy, bitch, I need me a buck. The diamond's yellow like a little rubber ducky. She ride my dick like a bike. Hush, that nigga mixed me, his aim was rushed. My bro caught the body. Bust. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Tell me, yeah. me Jodo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smash that bitch. Hey. Yeah. Eat it. I'm in the church trying to whip out the beater, serving a junkie, by Felicia. No, not Felicia. Her name was Keisha. Ball pussy, thinking got alopecia. Set it off like my name Queen Latifah. I'm in the chat with my max on my feet up. OG out in Cali, so I got my peas up. I got the bomb on me like Batista. No. I'm in the church trying to whip out the beater, serving a junkie, uh, by Felicia. No, not Felicia. Her name was Keisha. Ball pussy, thinking got alopecia. Uh. Set it off like my name Queen Latifah. I'm in the chat with my max on my feet up. OG out in Cali, so I got my peas up. I got the bomb on me like Batista. Uh. I got a bitch, she need a visa. Where she from? Where she from? Uh, Costa Rica. I'm selling a uh, white, white jeans. I'm trapping that church, selling dope to my preacher. I got a Glock on my hip like a beef. Flat a nigga, he got a seat. She sneaking and geek. Ain't no secret. You kissing that bitch, and you, you know, know she a eater. You kissing that bitch, and you, you know, know she a eater. eater. I'm in the Jeep, uh, creeping. I don't want nothing but head. Beavis. I got the Glock in my shirt, cleavage. I'm rocking Nikes, can't fuck with Adidas. I keep the heater, cause I keep a fever. Beat down her back, she catch all the semen. Her name Felicia, that bitch be fiending. I'm in the church trying to whip out the beaters. Serving a junkie. By Felicia. No, not Felicia. Her name was Keisha. Ball pussy thinking got alopecia. Set it off like my name Queen Latifah. I'm in the chat with my max on my feet up. OG out in Cali, so I, I got, got my pizza. pizza. I got the bomb on me like Batista. No. I'm in the chat trying to whip out the beater. Serving a junkie. Uh -huh. By Felicia. No, not Felicia. Her name was Keisha. Ball pussy thinking got alopecia. Set it off like my name Queen Latifah. I'm in the chat with my max my on my feet up. OG out in Cali, so I, I got, got my pizza. pizza. I got the bomb on me like Batista. Wow. Uh Black ain't, black ain't bitch.